Hello, and welcome to Endgame Bosses. I'm Gino Side, I'm here with my three friends. Aspartame BT. Mason Logflume Bricks. Eric. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and we are playing Assault Suits Vulcan, better known as Cybernator in the USA. 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 This is the 11th day of robots leading up to the very last day tomorrow as, um, well, a secret hidden game. I'm going to show you this little opening sequence here because it is it's pretty sequential. cool. It's sequential, it is. And it's pretty cool. I, this game is, is cool as shit. That guy's name is Rusty Robot. <laughs> so, um, we're playing the Japanese version of Cybernator known as Assault Suits Vulcan, which has a lot more added dialogue, added portraits. And I believe it's fan translated? Yes. yes. This I was is about to say, that's not Japanese. Yes, this is the fan translation. And here's your story. I was 22 year old when my spaceship penetrated the spaceship. <laughs> well, luckily for me, around the time I'd finished my assault suits <laughs> training, the war had spread to the far reaches mm. of the Earth sphere. I forgot. Earth how to sphere. Read. <laughs> I, can't, I can't read. No that. one remembers exactly what started the war <coughs> anymore. It continues because people still fight over control of Cybertron. <laughs> <laughs> what little fossil fuel remains on this planet and over territorial rights on the moon. Rights on the moon. Our and leaders have no intention of sharing what little fossil fuel, uh, little resources. Mm. They're retainers, they forgot to take them out at night. Okay, got all I do not fight out of patriotism, a desire for justice, or any other sort of silly personal idea. Silly. I fight because I am a soldier. The only way a soldier can survive is to fight and defeat his enemies. Yes, dude, to fight, to fight his, enemies. his enemies. I like to fight his to fight. enemies. It's a new word. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I love how stupid his gun looks. Like, no, it looks so dumpy. It looks like a rejected uh. super soaker. <laughs> <laughs> super soaker. Oh man. I'm still hung up on when my spaceship crashed into another spaceship. Look at his robo dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's his assault suit. Vulcan. That's Vulcan. where the pilot sits. In the chest <laughs> in the core fighter. <laughs> <laughs> that's the cockpit. Uh Alright, let's get right into this. Oh. Any options that I need to look at right now? There should be more good Gundam games. There should. Name entry? You can change the name. Whoa, really? Guess you can change what kind of controller you can use for oh, names. Change the name to Rusty Robo. Bosses. Or EGB or something. I pressed start and it brought me here, so we're just gonna start the game. Oh. Yes, that's called progress. <laughs> progress. Alright, so our mission our squadron has been given this time is to destroy a large War. warship being built, built within an enemy enemy colony. The plan calls for us to crash our battleship, battleship. the Versus, through the colony's wall and then blow up the enemy warship engine block. So we're gonna crash their ship, our ship into their ship. The guys at the top have got to be crazy. For 1992, this is the longest fucking intro. Well, you didn't have to watch the first I know, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> it takes so long to get into the game if, if you really want to know everything. Not if you keep mashing the A button. <laughs> the space colonies in this game kind of remind me of Mobile Suit Gun Space Colonies. Fun fact! If any of you know this game or like this game or want to explore it further, there was a PS2 remake with much smoother and sharper graphics. Don't play that version because they changed a couple of things about it. There is a new intro stage, which is cool, but um, the thing that is kind of frustrating is there's a lock button for when you fire your gun. So if I'm firing my Vulcan, let's say, I'll, I'll show you here in a second. Let's talk about particle cannons first. Operational? Online? Not yet. Not yet. I don't know, Mason. That but there isn't much time until it is. Colony looks nothing like Luna 2 or... Okay, well, so... Well, now. I mean, If I hold like... down the L button, I can lock my gun like this so I can move up and down and even backpedal and fire. In the PS2 version, they changed it so you can no longer backpedal. It'll still lock your direction, but if you press this, you'll just turn around right away. And it gets really frustrating, especially on the second stage. Yeah. I was so excited to play that, and I was like, they ruined <coughs> the aim locking. Fuck! So, they had to have been aware of it. They're probably like, this makes it too easy. <laughs> 
The game's already not that easy. Yeah. Not that hard. You should be able to pick it up on the radar. Okay, looks like it's still out of rank. <laughs> useless, useless conversation because I'm too busy control concentrating on hitting things. Punch him! Oh, your punch pee him, is punch fading. Uh, oh, lost your pee is fading. I lost the pee. The peas you can actually use to power up your weapons, and after you collect enough, denoted by the number up there next to my Vulcan, which at this point is four, it will upgrade my weapon. P stands for powder. It Pow does. Powder up. So, because I read the intro to this stage once long ago and have been skipping it ever since, I totally forgot that like that reddish brownish shit at the top of the level is supposed to be the underbelly of an enemy ship. Yeah. <laughs> it just left my brain, because I've been skipping that part for so long. For years. Yeah. For years. This is a game I'd like to beat one day, because I haven't. One day... And as with most of our, if not all of our, robot games, if you want to see more, be sure to comment and ask for it. Yeah, be sure to ask for this game, because it's fun. We'll give it to you if you ask for it. That's right. Well, Except gotta... sexual favors. Okay, maybe I took that joke too far. <laughs> All you gotta do is ask for it, baby. <laughs> baby, baby. You can change what type of controller you can use in this game? No, it changes the control scheme. <laughs> <laughs> you're still going on about that? Like, this whole time you've been playing this game, you're like, I can change the controller? I mean, I saw the options menu that you can change the controller. It's like, it shows the SNES controller. <laughs> and you, if you press over, it's suddenly a Genesis controller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're transforming controller. Best idea. Speaking of Genesis, there was um, the first game in the Assault Suits series was Assault Suits Lanos, a game we were considering doing, but decided that this one is much better because it is. Was that on <laughs> Genesis? Yep. I yeah. haven't seen it. You guys didn't run that game by me. No, because this is the better game. <laughs> <laughs> We've decided. Have you ever played a game called Target Earth? That's the same game. Yeah. That's the American version. Yep. Because, you know, God is forbid we have the same fucking named game. <laughs> H is H is health. H yeah. for health. It's H an energy chip. H energy chip for energy <sighs> chip. For energy chip. H dancer. <sighs> I imagine the one for Sega Genesis Ouch. looking more like a Data East produced game. It does not look this pretty. Yeah, <laughs> not at all. Yeah, hence Data East. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about Data East. Well, they did games such as Midnight Resistance, which was a Contra ripoff. That just sounds like you're having a terrible time. <laughs> Midnight Resistance. They also did uh, Minnesota F Fats Pool Billiard. Did they? I don't yeah. really remember. Which is That's actually a, a pretty which fun game. Which is a game. good game. Kill yeah. a guy, kill a guy. Damn. Well, you got level 2 Volk and your bolts are bouncing. Yeah, now my bolts bounce and are a little bit larger. Bula, they ricochet. Bula bounce. Eric, name some other bad Data East games. I know you know some. Um, I believe they did Werewolf for the NES. <laughs> I remember that shit. Which is actually considerably worse than the Japanese version. That was one of those deals where the localization totally destroyed the game. And the Japanese one, I believe, was actually called Warwolf. W A R Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was it was part of a longer title, but that was the part that was English. It was War Wolf. See, I was thinking it was W O R War. <laughs> the things I didn't know the first time I played this game. This boss is timed. Yeah. So if you concentrate on killing the ever respawning um, side turrets, yeah, you can very easily lose. This oh my God! Battle. Pixelated explosion. Pixel explosions. Oh, Bingo. BINGO! Alright, let's get out of here. Full speed. Guys, let's go home. Let's yeah, escape to Federation speed. airspace. I love this game. This game is fun. Massive wow. mobile erection. However, if you want to see more of it, you're going to have to ask us, because we'll play more of it for you then. If you want to see more of it, just ask! That's all you have to do. Just, just ask. Or, it's maybe, simple. or again, maybe you won't just be really into these games and play them anyway, and you'll have to deal with it. Comment. But seriously, leave a comment. Let us know which ones are your favorites, and we'll play them. Seriously, we will. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Not at all. No. You think you know more than my dad? Don't, Don't fucking come. Well, <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow playing our hidden secret game. 
Uh, in which case, um, don't don't be a mouse that's stirring or whatever. On the eleventh day of robots, my true love gave to me side-scrolling Vulcan action customization. One tiny robot. Transform and roll up. Rocket fists of flying. Cool sword and lasers. Yes, Cell shaded bot. Metal storm. Versus battles. And ripping robots off their legs. <laughs>